guys, welcome to Resource TV. My name is Sandra, and this is Real News. Today on the news. Thames, in an interview, talked about her whole experience with Drake and how crazy the year has been from breaking record with Wizkid, meeting Adele, and other international celebrities. She also talked about her possible collaboration with Rihanna and Caesar. Let's check out the video. The, the, there was a clip of um, the we saw where Adele was singing to you, and oh. were you? I don't even. Were you the one that posted? I don't even think it was you that posted. No, it. I was definitely didn't post. I actually didn't even know that there was someone had taken a video. The, and you know, when things like Adele happened, um, I was still in shock. Even that night, I was in shock. The next day, I was in shock. Yeah, you know, I've I've realized that once I say something, it's happening, and then it just happens. So I'm saying it right now that Riri and Thames and Amen. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other people Be because and that, yeah I I go everybody yeah, so. yeah, yeah. let's just keep it like that <laughs> don't, don't go everybody oh. let's check out fans comment on this Fatima Azan says she doesn't have to say or post anything we like her the way she is Katy Broken says Thames sounding like a stoner <laughs> now stoner they no stoner Chachi says I ignore everybody Big Brother is watching. How she mumbled out what might put her in trouble is just magical. Moving on, Nigerian producer Rexy has revealed that he recently took possession of a Grammy certificate which was sent to him for his production credits on Bonner Boy's Grammy winning album, Twice As Tall. Rexy worked with Bonner Boy on his 2020 album, which won the singer his very first Grammy award for Best World Music Album. The producer had credits on two of the tracks on the album, Koma and Bebo. Announcing the arrival of his Grammy certificate via his Instagram, Rexy posted a picture of it and he wrote, Congrats, Grammy boy. Let's check out people's reaction on this. But DJ says, Bernard don't open way, make everybody go for it. Rexy on the beats. O'Shea way maker. OMG Nue says, You don't force David to get Grammy. Mm -hmm. And the Temic says, Long overdue, well done. Lastly, on the news, Ubi Franklin and Iyaya are finally reconciled after five years. The music partners worked together under a label titled Triple MG, but broke up in 2016 over irreconcilable differences. According to Iyaya, Ubi Franklin manipulated his way into owning all the shares of Triple MG. However, they both announced their reconciliation. Iyaya, who took to his Instagram page, wrote, How time indeed flies. It has been 165.6 million seconds, 2.8 million minutes. 46,000 hours, 1916 days, 274 weeks, 63 months, five years since the resolution of the contract, binding to resilient and hardworking parties that felt they need to give themselves time and grow independently. She accurate timekeeper. That's why the cause says, how does that help Nigerians? The question for the gods. New Dubi says, Ubi go chop and finish this time now. You use him hand enter cage again. Stella Mari says, I am happy for them. That will be all on today's news. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to catch up with us on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And also, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get more updates on our content. Bye!